Hello and welcome to week two of AC1520 Managerial Accounting and Decision Making. Remember that the contact information is down here with the name, the email address, and the phone number. We also have the office hours down here on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific, so I did change that till Tuesday at this time, 6 p.m. Pacific. These are not required, but this is time carved out if there are questions. This isn't a question and answer format, so if you're ready to ask questions there, it's not in a lecture type of format. So if you got questions, that's the time to go there. I have the phone number, the contact information. I'm keeping it at this number, which is the same as this number up here at this point. So check that before you log in. I think I'm going to keep that going forward. Uh, call in first, and then we'll go into the screen share software in a as-needed basis. So if we want to go in there and work some problems, then we can go into the screen share software and work some problems in like Excel or something of that nature. I'm going to go down to the week that we are in. It's going to be week two. So we got the um, objectives. We've got the topics. We've got the lessons. We started chapter 21 last time. We're going to continue on chapter 21 this time. That's going to be our main focus, cost, volume, profit analysis. We're going to start on chapter 22. That's mainly just going to be the learn smarts this time. Next time, we're going to focus more on chapter 22, a very more intensified type of budgeting process. You got your links down here that you can go to the instructional uh, videos on. You can also go to the YouTube page directly if you would like to do that. And I think most of these are in there directly, so you can go there and just go through them at, uh, at that point if that is easier or not. And then we're going to go down to everything from the discussion forums on down, of course. That's what we got to do for the week of week two. So we want to make sure to check everything off. I just want to emphasize this, that you do want to make sure to check everything off within Moodle Rooms, although most everything's going to be done in McGraw-Hills except for the uh, discussion forum at this time. But I want to get in the practice of checking everything off because this is your check sheet. This is like your syllabi, your lesson plan. The um, McGraw-Hill Connect is where you do the work, but it may not have all the information in terms of what needs to be done in there. This is where you want to check it all off. Starting off with week two discussion forums. Remember the format is that we're going to need at least four posts. You want to have more than four posts if at all possible because four posts is the minimum. The grades accumulate upwards to full credits, 21% uh, of the grade, and that can be achieved with four posts, but it's a lot easier to get there uh, with more than four posts because four posts is the minimum. Remember that if you copy and paste something, make sure to reference it and don't plagiarize. You don't want to be in a basis of plagiarizing that something. And you also want to kind of paraphrase it in your own words. Add your own kind of uh, comment on it as to do you agree with it, do you not agree with it, or just at least uh, rephrase it again in order to pick up the most points. We then have the assignments. We've got the homeworks. These all are going to be in Learn Smart, and we have the quiz. So we'll go up to, I'm sorry, they're all being McGraw Hills Connect. And so we'll go up into that area now. We're going to go into week two. So I'm in week two here. We have the Learn Smarts are going to be here. So we got uh, the second half of 21 and starting 22. And remember that there's only like 25 questions, I think, in each of those. So once you're done with the 25, you could continue on those in order to help you to practice for the final, I mean the quiz, which is a good practice to do because those are the smaller problems that have less information as opposed to these problems which are going to be more comprehensive. So these are going to be the two problems that are going to be more comprehensive. We do have the paper clips here. Remember that the paper clips are not something that you need to turn in. They will not be graded, but they're going to be very helpful, hopefully, to use in order to uh, complete the assignments here. So if you were to download this paper clip, for example, it would look like this. It would have the um, links to the videos here that you can take a look at. This will help you with the problem related to it. And it's got the worksheet here, so you don't have to do the worksheet, but I do recommend doing the worksheet because it, it really helps to learn both Excel as well as get that information in there so that you can work the other problem. Remember, the videos are, are going to be slightly different in terms of the numbers. The format will be much the same. However, then you want to use the Excel sheet to enter that information into the problem here. That's how I would suggest going about these. We then have the quiz. Make sure to take the quiz by Sunday. You can't generally make the quiz up unless there's an unusual circumstance, in which case you'd have to tell me on a case-by-case -case basis, and I would try to see if, if we can open that up based on the circumstances. Uh, other than that, make sure to take the quiz by Sunday. It's multiple choice. Anything is better than a zero. And uh, the assignments, you could be marked off for late work, of course, but we do have more leeway on the assignments. So if you're running the wall and you just can't get everything done by Sunday, then... 
do the quiz, make sure to pick up some points on that, and then pick up the late work as soon as you can after that. Going to go back to the Moodle rooms over here. Going to scroll up to the grade book on the left hand side, green icon as we know at this point. And we can see that uh, as of the end of the week, everything is due on Sunday, and then I have until Tuesday to get all the grades in there as we know. So, for example, week one, you're going to have everything in there by Sunday. I have until Tuesday to enter the grades. You want to go in there Tuesday after the close on Sunday night and make sure that everything has been populated the way you know it should be populated. For example, the discussion forum should have 100% in it. That dash should change to 100%. Why? Because everybody's shooting for 100% at this point, knowing the value and the importance of picking up 100% on those discussion forums and how that can really bring up the grade. And then we have the week one assignment here. Same thing, uh, they should be populated. And same for the quiz as well as the homework. Now, if anything has not been picked up uh, and it was a zero, you didn't quite get to it, then that dash will turn into a zero. You want to check the grade book. Anything that has a zero in it, then you want to see if you can pick that up in week two. Then we'll do the same thing for week two. So everything in week two is going to be due on Sunday, including any kind of late work. And then I have until the following Tuesday after the close of week two in order to uh, get the grades in there. So if you do anything done in week two, whether it be uh, week one late work or week two work that's due, that should be populated and graded by the end of uh, Tuesday following the close of week two. So keep that in mind. It might be done earlier than that, but by the end of Tuesday, that's when it's going to be in there. So that's how that's going to work on the gradebooks. So that's it for uh, week two. Have a great week, too.